again, uh, Ham Radio Call Sign, Whiskey 9 X-Ray Alpha X-Ray, and today we are going to be building another homebrew HF antenna. This one is a vertical antenna with elements for 40 and 20 meters on it. It's really cheap, it's tuned, it's really efficient, so uh, without any further ado, let's go. Alright guys, I got everything for the base of the structure laid out here. Uh, just the base of the structure, no elements, no paracord for getting it up in the tree or whatever. I'm using half inch pipe. You can use three quarter or whatever size you want really. I think a quarter inch pipe would be a little too small for this, be a little too flimsy, but the half inch works well. Three quarters would probably work better. I've got about a three foot long piece of half inch with a threaded coupler on the end of it. I've got two crosses four couplers. These couplers are half inch to three quarter. They can be half inch to quarter inch, three quarter, half inch, whatever. This side is not important as long as this fits your pipe. You're in good shape, but you need four of those. A cap, four, eh, roughly about three inches, three inch pieces of whatever size pipe you're using, and inch, inch and a half, whatever. You need two of those. I've also got three threaded couplers. This side on this one's not threaded, but this will thread into this guy, and this guy will thread into this guy. I don't know what the names of these are other than couplers. I'm not a plumber. I drive trains for a living, so you'll see how it goes together. You'll be able to pick up what you need. These are, again, I don't know what the names of them are. They are for mounting things to your ceiling junction boxes, uh, I don't know. Here, take a good look at it. Anyway, these are going to be separated, facing away from each other with the mounting screws facing out. And uh, let me just show you how it goes together. I'll throw it together real quick. Let's speed through this. Make sure that the mounting screws are facing away from each other so they'll go together just like this. I guess I threw an extra piece in here. I don't need this guy. You can see how these are put together. Like I said, they're facing away from each other with the mounting screws mounted onto the three foot piece of pipe. This guy will sit on here like this. Let me uh, go ahead and throw the coax on. Alright guys, you can see how the coax, the center conductor goes to the top plate, the shield goes to the bottom plate. Now whenever we go to connect our elements, we will use these mounting screws for the two elements. You can actually drill holes through each side perpendicular to these and put four elements on this antenna. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use two. But just remember, if you do use four to tune them from the longest element to the shortest, and you ought to be in good shape, but we're just going to do two. 
All right, guys, real quick, I want to give you a better shot of the whole base. Here's the top. It's in a plus configuration, and I've got about three feet of the half-inch PVC pipe that comes down to the, oh, the pieces of metal. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry. Don't hate on me, but the, the round metal pieces and the coax is connected to it and I've got about 20 feet connected to that but that is the base in its entirety so we will go outside and I will show you how to get it up in a tree and put everything together well I made it outside and I just figured I'd show, share with you I'm sure you guys that have used radials before have ran into this I hate radials you radials I'll be back Got to go untangle these. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the elements and how they're, uh, I guess, called put together while I've got them here on the ground because they're going to be kind of hard to show to you whenever I get them strung up vertically. But anyway, I've just got some ring terminals on each side and some shrink tubing. This is 14 gauge uh, wire I got from the hardware store. And come down, I have got a PVC pipe separator in between the two. I'd say probably about, oh, 12 feet from the ends of them. And this is the end of the 20 meter element. I've just got it looped over on itself with a uh, C-ring, clevis, whatever you want to call it. And from here, the rest of the way down, the length of the 40 meter element is paracord. The 40 meter element continues all the way down here where it is wrapped on itself the same length as the paragord. These are tuned already and if you want to know how to tune them I suggest you look up another video that I'm not going to go over it in this one but there are several videos out there. Just tune your 40 meter element first and then do the 20 afterwards you'll save yourself some heartache but uh, let me go over there we'll get this guy hoisted up all right guys I got the <laughs> I got the paracord strung up over a tree branch I'll turn you around and show you in just a second my neighbors think I'm crazy because I was out here with a fishing pole casting my line up into the tree trying to get it over the highest branch that I can't that sucks <laughs> I was trying to get over the highest branch that I can it looked like I'm fishing for birds in the trees or something I guess but oh well let me turn you around I'll show you what I got okay this is my piece of paracord that I've got up you probably can't see that but it's probably about 35 feet up in the tree maybe a little less and I have got a clevis sea ring hiking climbing ring and that goes through the paracord that I showed you earlier and the element. So we can now come over here, I've got about 100 feet of it, and start pulling on this guy to hoist it. Now I'm going to hoist this thing up. All the way until the ends of the elements with my uh, wire ring terminals are just a little bit off the ground. And there we go. I've got this uh, dog stake over here. I'll just wrap this around it a couple times to kind of hold it in place for now. And... There we go. Both our elements strung vertically up into the tree. They're separated. They might be twisted up a little bit with the paracord, but that doesn't matter. The paracord's not going to bug it any. So, let's get our base. Alright guys, I got you set up on the tripod so you can actually see what I'm doing. We've got our vertical elements coming down out of the tree, tied off with the paracord over there. And we've got our base here. So now we need to connect our vertical elements to the top plate on our base using the screws that I told you to make sure that we're facing up. 
So each element will slide through the guides and come down and I will speed through this because it's going to be kind of hard to do, but uh, we'll connect the ring terminals on to where these screws are at. All right, guys, handheld again. Uh, I want to give you a closer view. Here are the vertical elements and how they connect with the ring terminals onto this top plate here. As you can see, it's still swinging around. I did that intentionally. I've got a, another piece, but you can see the vertical elements going up into the tree and they are tied off right over there. But now that I know exactly where this is gonna get, I've got a piece of PVC pipe that I'm going to drive into the ground right there, and this will slide right onto the top of it, which will keep it from swinging back and forth. But I wanted to wait until I got it hung to see what was actually plumb before I drove it into the ground, that way my elements weren't crooked. So let me grab that piece, get it drove into the ground, and we'll continue on. All right, now that that guy is firmly in the ground, I have loosened up the paracord on this a little bit. Like I said, that will sit right on that. Now that'll keep it from swinging side to side. And actually, that is looking pretty good. Like I said, I'm not going to use these, but if you had two more elements that you wanted to go down to the top plate, you could do that. But I'm not going to. And that guy is actually a little crooked, but I don't care. It's good enough for the girls I hang with. Got my coax that I can run either in the basement or the window. I've just got it going in the window now because I change my antennas too often. But uh, the only thing left to have a antenna that you do not need to use a tuner on, completely tuned for 2014, probably work on 15. I don't know a whole lot about the harmonics of stuff because I just don't. But yeah, ask somebody, ask Elmer, he'll know. Or anybody named Dave or Jim, they know all sorts of that crap. But anyway, we've got these screws on the top. We've also got these screws on the bottom. So we're going to get a bunch of radials. My suggestion is they're untuned once they're on the ground. So you don't need to tune the radials. I'm going to use radials that are uh, cut for roughly 20 meters. So that'd be what, about 16 and a half feet. I'm going to use about, I don't know what I have. Uh, I'd say the lowest amount that you'd want to use is four, but your gain is going to be low. And the highest I would recommend, which don't chew me out for this, 16 in all realness is good enough. Anything more than that, you're just kind of, I don't know, going for perfection. Look at my antenna. I am not going for perfection. So let me grab the radials, get those hooked up, and wrap this thing up. All right, guys, I skimped out on you. I only put four of my radials on just to kind of show you how they were connected. Let's see if I can flip you around. Yep, maybe, maybe. I don't know if you could see that or not, but yeah. I've only got four, realistically, for whatever band you're using, 16 would be preferable, or more, but you can get away with four. I mean, if that's all you have at the time, go for it. Just uh, check your meter, make sure that you're tuned up, and uh, do what works for you. Uh, my house is right here, so instead of going in a 360 degree pattern, I can only realistically like do maybe 200 degrees. If that's what you're stuck doing go for it just get on the air 
But anyway, I guess that's going to wrap up this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment, check it out, subscribe, like if you like the video, if you like my white trash DX Commander-esque type antenna. Remember, you could always put four. That was my original intentions, but I change antennas out entirely too often. So this one's going to... Go in the closet for now, and I'm going to work on my next one. So until then, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Tell me that I did a good job. Tell me that I suck. Whatever. Just uh, show a little love, and we'll catch you on the next go-around. Seven threes.